Hello, everybody. I think many people have seen the Kinder Country Bar like this in the store. Let's open it up. It looks like just some kind of small chocolate. You need to cut into it and look inside. So, milk chocolate is on the outside. Inside, there is a dense white filling and crispy cereal. I wonder what it tastes like. A cool candy bar with crispy little additions. So, today we will cook the exact same thing, only a thousand times bigger. Let's go. The most important thing is to make a high quality mold, and our dad's gonna help us out with that. We wrap a plywood sheet and fix it with adhesive tape. The parchment should be well stretched so that there are no folds. The bottom is ready. Now we are armed with the screwdriver and corners. We fasten them to the plywood. Now you need to cut the plywood for the walls with an electric jigsaw. We also wrap them in parchment and put them in their places. We cut the ceiling skirt board at 45 degrees and join them inside our mold. In the middle, a metal corner should pass along the entire shape. You also need to cut the corner into small pieces. We assemble our form as a constructor. Now you just need to fix all of this with the help of thermal glue, so that later, at the most crucial moment, none of this seeps out. At this point, the form is completely ready. And we will buy the food products to make up our Kinder Country. So, milk chocolate, we bought 30 kilograms. Sugar, 13 kilograms. Powdered milk, we bought two whole bags of 25 kilograms. Palm oil, a 20 kilogram box. It also consists of crispy cereal, namely air wheat, air rice, air barley, and air buckwheat. We couldn't find this though, so we'll make it ourselves from ordinary buckwheat. It's pretty simple. So pour one kilogram of buckwheat into a saucepan. Pour in two liters of water. And put it on to cook until all the water evaporates. Done. We remove it from the stove and scatter it onto four baking sheets. We distribute it with a spatula so that there is a layer of the same thickness everywhere. Done. We push the baking sheets into the oven. Set to only 50 degrees in the convection mode. We need to wait five hours, and then you can take it out. We're left with completely dry boiled buckwheat. Now for the last step. To do this, we will prepare a deep fryer. You're gonna need to heat the oil to more than 200 degrees. And now we throw our buckwheat into it. It starts to explode and pop like popcorn. Give this video a like if you didn't know that you can make popcorn from buckwheat. We lift the sieve and shake off all the excess oil. There you go, pop the buckwheat onto the paper towels. And we repeat this many more times. Now we have all the airy cereals we need. Next ingredient we're gonna need is animal fat. We grab some butter, soy lecithin was also bought, and the last one is vanilla. We will use natural vanilla pods. And all of this will go into our kinder country. Chocolate is first in line. We open up a box. And pour 10 kilograms of milk chocolate into the Marmite. Periodically mix it. Until it all completely melts. Done. We take our form. And first of all, we will smear all the joints with hot chocolate so that then the bulk of the chocolate does not flow into them. Now we pour in the remaining chocolate.
and evenly distributed according to the shape. It's set now. Now inside the mold, we put another wall wrapped with food wrap. They will not allow the white filling to reach the main walls, and there will be room for chocolate. We fix them in with clamps. We take palm oil out of the box. Using a machete, we cut the briquette in half. And put it into pots. We got some butter, we opened it up. And two packages into each pan. We put it on the stove and heat it up. Open up some sugar. And pour it into the melted butter. We thought that the sugar would dissolve in the warm oil, but this didn't happen. Well, that's all right. We take two huge basins, open up some bags of powdered milk, and pour in 25 kilograms into each basin. Now we need some vanilla. We take the pads out of the bag, High quality vanilla must be oily. So we cut them lengthwise and scrape the seeds with a knife. This is the most valuable and fragrant part. We dump it into a bowl and continue to get the seeds. We scatter them evenly, but do not throw out the shells because they're also very fragrant. So we send them into the dryer. We set it for 70 degrees and turn it on. We will dry them for five hours. Cut them into short pieces. And send them into the coffee grinder. Here they will turn into a powder. Done. The vanilla powder is also scattered into the basins. Here we also pour melted palm oil with sugar. And now all this needs to be mixed with a huge mixer. We're left with a mass similar to cottage cheese. So we mix two basins. Now we need a melange and turn it on. We collect this mass with a saucepan and pour it into the melange. Now we need soy lecithin. It'll help mix the products at the molecular level and make them thinner. Thirty minutes later, the mass has become homogeneous. Turn off the melanger and pour the contents into the mold. Even with the addition of soy lecithin, the mass turned out to be really thick. Now we need to add some airy cereals. For this batch, we use air wheat. We press it into the white mass and make a second batch of the filling.
And to make it even thinner, we melted a little bit of palm oil. And pour it into the melon jar. Need for another 30 minutes. And pour it into the mold. This time the mass turned out to be what you need. And we'll add in some air buckwheat. Mix it with the filling. So, our third filling. Add some airy rice into it. And mix it in too. To the fourth filling, add the exploded barley. We continue to fill the form in the same way. Now we wait for the solidification of the white mass. We remove the clamps, unscrew the screws, and remove all the walls. We're left with an even layer of filling. Now we return only the outer walls back. And fix them in place. We have an even cavity for the chocolate layer. Therefore, it's time to open up the milk chocolate and send it into the Marmite. But this time, the chocolate needs to be more liquidy. So we add more oil and mix it all well with the chocolate. Now that's right, it's done. We scoop the chocolate into a cup and fill the walls of our giant kinder country. The chocolate was enough to fill all the walls and even the thin layer of the bottom. So we need it thicker, so we'll melt some more chocolate. Pour it out into the middle of the mold. And use a wide spatula to level it out. Now we just need to wait until the chocolate sets. Done. In order to get the Kinder Country out of the mold, put on some plywood and fix it with the corners. Now we need elevations, to which we carefully turn our shape. That's it, you can take everything apart. During disassembly, we slightly damaged the bar. Therefore, you're gonna have to fix it up with some hot chocolate. Just cover up all the gaps. On each cube of the original Kinder Chocolate, there is such a spike. To repeat it, we will make a stencil. We cut it out with the jigsaw from thin fiberboard. 
and after three hours, it's done. We apply it to the cube. In scratching, we outline the stencil first from the outside. And then the inside. Done. So you need to do this nine more times. Now a thousand times enlarged copy of our Kinder Country is ready. In my opinion, it turned out practically one and the same. Let's cut out a piece. This turned out one and the same, you guys, as if the same thing on the package. Let's try it. The taste is almost like in the original, sweet and crunchy. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Bye everybody!